Some companies, factories, and other institutions like schools have been forced to retain their workforce but are unable to pay them full salaries due to the fact that they are not operating, but promise to continue assisting their former employees in the weeks ahead nevertheless until the lockdown is over. Other companies have been laying off a number of their employees and say they will ensure that their salary areas are cleared for the period prior to the lockdown, again to ensure that people can cope during these difficult times. While companies have assured even those they were forced to terminate their contracts that after all this is over they will hire them back, others especially in the hospitality sector say it will depend on how quickly things swing back to normal and their profit margins recover. Officials in the Private Sector Federation are saying there have been some concerns that a number of companies may need assistance to get back on their feet after the threat of COVID-19 has passed. Some of the requests may include tax reductions or exemptions, or at the very least suspensions while they try to recover after operations resume. Others feel it is important that they are facilitated to access quick loans to cover certain expenses and losses after normal trade and work resumes. Members of the Labour Congress and Workers Fraternity in Rwanda, COTRAF, are saying in light of the impact the lockdown could have on employment figures, the government should find a way to help companies, factories and other institutions in the private sector to recover quickly when the lockdown ends. We believe the government can borrow more if necessary to meet this need because we heard that even developed nations have been suspending debt payment requirements from developing ones and so our government can take advantage of this to look at areas that have been affected the most and close the deficit for the sake of those that are being most affected, mitigating the negative effects being felt by business owners in the private sector so that they in turn do not lay off too many of their employees. The exact figures of those who lost their jobs during this month of April are yet to be compiled, but there have been reported layoffs even among local professional football clubs private media houses, transport companies and others. Economic experts have began forecasting that up to 30 million people in sub-Saharan Africa could be left unemployed after this coronavirus threat has passed.